Hi, so I just could not pass up the opportunity to brag about this flagpole. I mean, if you've ever wanted a flagpole that reduces, minimizes, almost eliminates flag wrap, this. <laughs> This is the flagpole. Let's just watch this for a minute. It's a beautiful windy day and those clear plastic rings are not pivoting on the pole. They are tightened down on the pole and fixed. The pole itself is actually turning. It has right here. I don't know if we can see it. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. There's two bearings in here. One right about here and one right about here. And that pole just pivots inside of this wall mounted holder. I opted for the more expensive holder. This one is actually stainless steel. It has some sort of a coat on it, I guess for added protection or durability for the weather. But I mean, look at this beautiful flag and pole. I mean, this thing can just whip around all day long. Sometimes, rarely, the flag winds up laying on the pole for a little bit, but whether it be the weight of the flag allows it to fall off the pole and the pole just turns and the flag drapes perfectly or the wind kicks back up and allows the flag to fall one way or the other and again the pole just unravels the flag it's beautiful this is a fiberglass uh, pole I don't have the specs with me right now. I'll uh, include the link of where I bought this in the description below. But, I mean, this thing is something. I actually bought the flag from the same company and opted for their more durable three foot by five foot flag. This one has uh, added stitching here toward the end of the flag so it eliminates or reduces the, what I believe is called tattering of the flag, where it kind of falls apart or rips at the ends because it whips in the wind. This material that they use is also uh, resistant to UV rays, so it uh, reduces fade. It's a little bit uh, heavier construction as well. I probably didn't need this high of a quality flag for my environment, but I was just tired of having a flag that fades and tears uh, just after one season and always having to come outside or anytime I pass the pole, reach over and unravel it. It just seemed constant. See, look at that. Laid on there and rolled right off. Call me a flag nut if you want to. <laughs> uh, crazy, whatever, but 
man, just the the colors, the red, white, and blue, and just the the beauty of it, the meaning behind it for me, is just I don't know, it just does something. I served in the Air Force. My father served in the Army. To me, that flag means something. It's a beautiful symbol. And to allow it to fly without restraint using this kind of a flagpole I mean, not only does it eliminate the, the hassle of having to unravel it all the time, but it just flies. I, you also have to buy the, so I guess let me tell you this, probably should have started with it at the beginning of the video, but so the wall mount bracket, that's one piece that you have to buy. The fiberglass rod, it's a second piece. The flag, it's a third piece. Each ring, each of the plastic rings that holds a flag on the pole, each of those is another separate purchase. And the last piece is going to be, uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's the pole topper. That, I opted for the brass version. All it does, it pushes right on the flagpole when it uses compression to stay on. There's no screws or anything like that. They also sell a plastic version, but high quality pole mount, high quality pole, high quality flag, I figured. The only thing that's not in my opinion, high quality on this pole is gonna be those plastic rings, but only time will tell how well they hold up. This is just beautiful. Anyways, again, I figured it was just a real beautiful day. I couldn't pass shooting a video and, you know, letting other people know about this company that resells or makes and sells this setup. I mean, to me, this is a dream setup, aside from having a vertically, you know, ground mounted flagpole that you can fly a flag 12, 20 feet up in the air. I mean, for a wall mounted setup, this is a great product. In my mind, most people are looking for this kind of a setup, but don't know where to find it. So hopefully I can help any of you that might be interested. I think I probably spent some around $200 for all of it. That's way more expensive than you're probably gonna find at a Home Depot, a Walmart, or wherever you're picking these wall-mounted flag kits. But I'm hoping that it just stays this amazing. In which case for me, the money was well spent. God bless America.